to a, another commentary done by Diggity Upper Ink when we have Urk Masucci. I should actually give a shout out to both Team Ash and Team Urk, I'm realizing in the midst of this, because both of these clans are incredible, first of all. Check out, uh, by the way, B uh, BWCL, Revolution Veer has been casting that, and it's an off season right now, but also check out uh, Quix. He has a lot of fun commentaries, and oftentimes I will do a lunch break at work and do lunch break Brood War while I'm eating food at my desk, which I probably shouldn't do, but whatever. Okay, looks like we are seeing an Overlord Scout across one another uh, this time. But both of those clans participate in the Clan League. Very prestigious, and it's just fun to watch them. And I think it's, especially if you follow a bit of BSL, it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a side thing. So if you guys like Brood War, you're looking for more Brood War content, that's where I would want, I, I, that's where I would like to send you guys. Also, another thing I've been thinking about recently is the, uh, I should go, I was going to say, I was going to talk about the Rancor thing. I think I also have a little bit of a bias towards Rancor. Just because, because Rancor in Hasu League and a lot of the matches thus far has created very exciting games for me. Looks like he is opening up with a 9 pool once again. Or sorry, this is Masuchi opening up with a 9 pool. Reversal of fortune here. He's going to go 9 pool extractor. Looks like we are seeing a... Did Rancor... So he went over pool this time. Usually gives a slight edge to the overpool flare. We'll see how he ends up playing it. This isn't like a... But theoretically, this is a slight build order advantage. But I love in Hasu League seeing Rancor and also previously in all of his matches. I love seeing his aggression. I just feel like it makes really fun matches as a commentator. It's really hard to make like long-term macro matches where guys are just sitting back and waiting until the 20... Like kind of doing like a no-rush 20 thing on both sides of the map. It's hard to make those exciting sometimes. And I feel like Rancor is one of those guys who, uh, you know he's never going to do that. Masuchi, <laughs> in the interim, looks like he's going to open up with the six Zerglings. Spawning Pool's finishing opposite side. We do have the six Zerglings being produced over here as well. The Overlord kind of taking an altered angle, I think potentially to try to see Zerglings as they're spawning. So this is a little... Are they, is it going to catch it? How did this... I'm wondering if the... Okay, so they, they catch just the edge. So Rancor sees the Zerglings on the way, which lets him know he just needs to blockade his ramp. He's moving his way to, towards the lair immediately. It looks like Zergling speed is being upgraded from Masuchi, which is kind of the worst case scenario across the board. The Zerglings are out of position, though. They need to get up to the ramp to help defend, and additional Zerglings do need to be produced to hold this off. Rancor up a single drone in this build order. And the Overlord is going to be able to see the additional Zerglings as they come. So he's going to be able to build additional Zerglings as they come across the ramp. So he just needs to be diligent. Yeah, so, yeah. Setting them up. Masuchi going for an inverted wall. I don't know that that's going to fool anybody, though. And with the Overpool build, that is going to put Rancor ahead. So this is one of those ones where I'm going to almost say... And I'm not saying this is the first match where this has been the case. Because I think that's a bit unfair to Masuchi's level... Just to Masuchi at large, because I don't think that's 100% the case. But I feel like this is the first time I've seen just a straight-up big build order advantage for Rancor in a lot of these sets, where I'm like, if Rancor flubs this, it's really on him. Down a drone right this second. Building some additional Zerglings. The other thing I wanted to mention in the midst of this is I'm also wondering how much these guys are utilizing or able to utilize the mineral boosting which has become a bigger thing. And I'm wondering what the Mineral Booster patches are on Fighting Spirit. Spire plopping down for both players. As you can see, Rancor's Spire a little bit earlier. The advantage this is going to give him is, is he's going to be able to get, first of all, on top of these Zerglings, unless Masuchi backs them out sooner rather than later. But also this Overlord is going to be more of a target to get picked off. So basically, the initiative goes towards Rancor. Masuchi, however, right now, up two drones. So in the midst of all of this, has managed to find a bit of an advantage. I don't know if that was because of uh, Overlord timing or maybe something along those lines. Spire, not that far from finishing from both players, but the Mutalisks will be in the sky a little bit earlier, which means, and this I like this adjustment here from Rancor, moving to try to track down this Overlord so he has eyes on it, so it lets you know what his potential target's going to be. So my assumption here is the initial three Mutalisks are going to hunt down this Overlord. This Overlord, and you can see Mitsuchi trying to do the same thing on the opposite end. These Zerglings are potentially going to be a target. But in the midst of all of this, 
Is it the Zergling count that's the difference? Maybe it's just mineral boosting that's been the difference. I guess it's there's fewer Zerglings on the line here for Masuchi. But in the midst of this, Masuchi is up despite being a little bit behind in the build order overall. Two drones. The Mutalisks are in flight. Not going to take a shot at the... So now turning to take shots at the Zerglings as they're coming across. But is Rancor going to follow this up with a Zergling flood of his own? So pulling out. Mutalisks now in the air opposite direction. And in base, second hatchery for Masuchi. And this is a really... I'm a little bit shocked he's going for this. That's a really risky play. Especially with Rancor getting aggressive. Going up, attacking the Zerglings, trying to press in. Closer reinforcement point for Rancor. Rancor showing, yeah, he is uh, just aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Some of the Mulesks attacking the Zerglings on the ground rather than the Mulesks in the air. So the Zerglings able to pull off the line. They're focusing down the Spire. Rancor, however, not getting the better part. Now re-engaging. The Spire is down. And more Mutalisks pressing forward. So still four Mutalisks in the air because of the close reinforcement points. The Zerglings trying to sneak back in and get some additional drone kills. I think they are going to be able to do so. That's been a lot of disrupted mining time. They're getting cleaned up. Masuchi's still up a drone, but he's down a Spire. Somehow still has six Mutalisks. But if Rancor can get enough Mulus up in the air, he can just move forward and end this. So seven Mulus, one of them very weak. He's moving out to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. The Mulus might be able to pick that drone off. Unfortunately, in the midst of that focus fire, taking a lot of free damage. And the Overlord in the midst there, I think might be able... It looked like for a brief moment there might have been absorbing some of the Glaives. Masuchi calling GG. Rancor takes the fifth set. So we got a match. We're going to go to set six, potentially set seven around the corner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.